Hello, my name is Andy and welcome to my garage. Today we're going to work on evacuating the refrigerant from the uh, car, which is the BMW 328i using the Vivo recovery machine HBS1A. Uh, first step is to uh, remove all of the humidity and the uh, air from uh, the tank. The current uh, empty tank weight is 14.8 pounds. So we're going to go ahead and um, install the air pump and let it go for an hour. All right, so we're going to get it, let it go for an hour. And then after that, we're going to connect that to the system. Connection to the system is quite easy. We have the high, high side, which is a red line, connected to the high side here of the car. The low side, the blue, going into the blue line here and everything is closed right now. We have the yellow line connected to the input of the uh, Vivo recovery machine, which is currently off. Eventually, when it's done, we're gonna use this line coming out to this pump. We're gonna connect that to the output here. So this yellow line is input to the machine and the output of the machine is going to go to the tank. And the tank is currently being uh, vacuum out all of the humidity and everything. So we'll be back in an hour. Okay, we've been vacuuming this uh, tank for nearly an hour now. So it's time to turn it off. First thing we want to do is to turn off the knob so that nothing going to come in. Okay, and then uh, we turn off the vacuum pump. All right, so we take the valve here, disconnect the valve, and we connect to the output port so that the uh, valve, the output of this one goes into the tank. Okay, so this is the new configuration. We're going to move the air pump out of the way, the vacuum pump. All right. Okay, so everything is connected. The uh, recovery machine is connected. It's not power on yet. Uh, every valve has been closed here. This position is closed. It's in recovery mode. So next thing we want to do is to uh, open the valve from the car to let the uh, refrigerant out so we turn clockwise okay so we're going to see some pressure here and we do the same on this side It was an in properly. Okay. So we sh see some pressure here. So next what we want to do is to purge the air. So since we have the refrigerant coming here, we're going to let the air out a little bit. Okay, turn it back on. 
same here it's kind of hard okay so now we want to go in here and perch it here Now we want to open the valve on the vapor side, okay. So the refrigerant going here and going out this yellow line. Okay, the uh, air have been perched on all of the point here. And the valve at the tank is still closed. We open the um, input and output port and we can see the pressure is about the same as in the manifold gauge here. Okay, so we're gonna start power it on and we push the start button and we open the valve here to let the refrigerant go in. And we're going to monitor that until it goes down to zero and the operation is done and next step we're going to do is to purge whatever left in the machine. So when it's complete, the green complete uh, LED is going to turn on and it's supposed to be done. We'll be back in about half an hour. Okay, now we're in the process of recovering the uh, refrigerant from the car only the left side here has been open for now in fact I can open both okay so Input coming in, open. Output going out, open. And go to the tank. The tank is being open. And we're going to wait until this green uh, is coming on. We can see the uh, pressure is going down to nearly zero now. Okay, now the machine stopped and the green complete light is uh, done. It means the operation is done. It finished sucking all of the refrigerant from the car. You can see that it's on zero now. So next we want to do is to turn this off by turning clockwise. The red and the blue to close the valve. Well, we can close it here. Okay. All right, the uh, operation is done. The green complete uh, LED comes on. It's pointing at zero here and zero here and I just close the valve here next things we want to do is to turn it off okay turn it into the purge mode upside down turning it on again and press the start to 
uh, sucked in the remaining uh, refrigerant from the lines put this into the purge mode so this is in purge pressing this to purge okay so the purging is done so we close everything down first of all we turn off the close the valve here at the tank so we have everything going in we close the valve here we put it to close we turn it off and we remove all of the valves from the connectors okay there you go so one last thing is that uh, since this is a new tank we're going through the operation of vacuuming uh, and all that but now that we have like uh, 0.8 uh, of a pound inside that we don't want to uh, to vacuum it out it doesn't make sense anymore so the next step going forward we just measure from 15.6 pound and then we collect the um, uh, the next uh, car whatnot uh, on the refrigerant using the recovery machine and you know record the dates and how many uh, pound coming in and uh, note that this is a 30 pound capacity okay uh, plus the 14.8 pound for the weight of the tank itself and then we just want to make sure that it doesn't go above that and uh, that's it so uh, hope this uh, video helps and uh, see you next time bye